In the 4.6 billion year history of Earth, we humans are just a blip. We've been around for about 200,000 years, or less than one one hundredth of one percent of the Earth's timeline. Yet in that sliver of time, we've made an unmistakable impact on the planet. For example, our numbers have swelled to over seven billion people, consuming resources at an ever-increasing rate. As we've grown, we've made our mark on the world's forests. There are about half as many trees now as there were at the dawn of human civilization. We've altered more than 50% of the Earth's land by clearing fields, building cities, damming rivers, and even removing mountaintops in search of coal. We've also changed our atmosphere. The carbon dioxide we generated during the early Industrial Revolution is still warming the planet today, along with all our emissions since then. Even if we were to stop emitting CO2 right now, the gas we've already pumped into the atmosphere would last for tens of thousands of years. And so would the higher temperatures and rising sea levels it causes. We've affected other species as well. Our actions have stressed plant and animal populations around the world. In mammals alone, the extinction rate is now 55 times higher than before humans existed. We've caused so many changes to the planet so quickly that scientists have given this time period its own name. They're calling it the Anthropocene, or the Age of Humans. Like the Pleistocene and the Holocene, the Anthropocene represents a segment of the Earth's timeline. It includes things like the rise of fossil fuels as an energy source, the industrialization of agriculture, and the urbanization of more than half the world's population. We've caused a cascade of effects that have altered the landscape, the climate, the animals and plants around us, and even our own way of life. But these kinds of changes aren't unprecedented. In fact, the Earth is constantly in flux. Throughout its history, continents have broken apart and come together. Ocean currents have shifted and climates have fluctuated. Species have died out and new ones have emerged. So, how is this shift different? Right now, one species alone is driving these changes. What's even more unique is that we know we're doing it. That alone could be the most important shift in how we see ourselves today. By acknowledging that we're actively shaping the future of the planet, we can determine what shape that future will take. Now it's up to us to decide. What do we want our future to look like?